Hey guys, this is the walkthrough for the 2020-2021 Digital Life Planner. This um, planner has 18 months, as you can see down the stars. It starts from July 2020 all the way through December 2021. Up at the top, you will see there are different tabs. Daily, weekly, goals, lifestyle, vision, joy, finances, notes, and then a blank tab that you can create your own. At the bottom, we also have buttons for the index, um, stickers, and templates. Um, and then you have a home button as well as access to your Google Drive. So when you click on this, it will ask you if you want to proceed to the external link to join your Google Drive, and you would just hit yes. And if you're logged in, it will just bring you straight to it. Okay? So, again, all of these tabs are functioning, and they do carry out throughout the entire um, planner. So... This is the front cover, and that is what this home button will bring you to. And I'm just going to go ahead and swipe on through to your title page where you can add pictures and also um, put your name. So um, an easy way to add pictures would be just hit your toolbar and click here, and then you can add um, any pictures um, by scrolling through. Um, I don't think I have any updated, but, you know, you could just add them there. Um, we, let's go ahead and go to the next page. Sorry. After the cover page, we have just a, um, thank you page where you can also access, um, any other digital planners, all of my tutorials and my blog. And also down at the bottom right here are the hex codes for this teal color, the pink color, and the purple color. These are the three main colors I use throughout the entire planner. So if you wish to have your pen that color, you would need to come up top to the pen. And then on your colors, you would hit the drop down and then click custom. Type in the hex code for whichever one you want and click add to presets and then it will come up here. As you can see, I have the teal, pink, and purple. So these codes, if you want them to match, um, you'll see the colors used more on the other pages, then you'll want to use those hex codes on this page. Um, after that, you have your index, and your index are all of your page templates that aren't included in these tabs. <clears throat> For example, the yearly plan, which is just um, your yearly planner for your goals. Um, you also have your meal planner, which has all of your different, um, I'm not sure why it's coming up bl blurry on my screen, but it's not blurry on the iPad. Um, you have all of your daily um, pages as well as you know your shopping list um, and a note section. You can duplicate this as many times as you want and insert it and all of the links will work. <clears throat> you also have a just a generic shopping list where it has different sections if you don't want to use the meal planner one. Um, you have a revenue page to track um, your, sorry, your different revenues and anything that comes in during the month or the year. Um, you also have a bill payment page where you can access um, each bill and then you can check it off as it's paid each month. Okay. Um, you also have... Your expenses page. The expenses page is where you can just document any expenses. Maybe it's for a certain trip or a certain month or a certain week. Um, recommendations page. I like to use these when people tell me a TV show I need to remember or a book or a podcast or anything else. I'll insert um, pictures and I'll show you how I use this in um, a little bit. Um, you have blank paper. Um, your graph paper which all you would have to do if you wanted this template would just be to <clears throat> use the lasso tool. You would lasso all the way around the page. Oh, not a good example. Let's try again. Okay, lasso all the way around your page. I'm like not a good lassoer under. <laughs> Hold down the screen. You would hit take screenshot. Press the share button, copy, <clears throat> and let's say you wanted it on this blank page. Oh, sorry. Blank page. Oh, sorry. 
you would hold down on the screen, hit paste, and then you could edit from there. Okay? So, next, in your index, you have a habit tracker where you can um, show all of your habits for the month. So you would list the habits here, and then each day of the month you would color it in as you do it. I'll show you that completed in a minute. You have a book log where you can log all of the books that you read and write the titles on them. You have an address list where you can list all of your addresses. So when Christmas cards come around, it's so much simpler. An appointments page. If you're scheduling appointments throughout the week, I have them for every half hour. Um, I just like having a brain dump, just like different sections if I need like portion to-do list or sometimes um, different stores I need to go and get things from and so on. Um, we have a gift tracker page where you can list all the different gifts. Maybe it's like birthdays or something else. But then I also have a like sorter where like if you're buying, you know, small gifts for Christmas, you can insert pictures here if they're, um, and you can see if they're, you can check off if they're wrapped or mailed in their name. This comes in handy when you have to shop for like a bunch of kids for Christmas and you forget once all the gifts come in, you don't know what it's for. So you have your daily planner page, which has three things you're grateful for, top three priorities, your meals throughout the day, your water tracker, as well as a schedule. Your weekly plan, where it has Monday through Sunday, weekly goals, task notes. Um, just a goal setting page. Um, it has the different sections, which kind of goal would you like to set for yourself. Um, and then you have what things you would want to do throughout the week, throughout the month, why is it important, and what is your reward. Um, I have a lifestyle page where every day you can like kind of keep track of if you, drink, if you took your, your vitamins, drink your water, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what exercise, self-care, and sleep. And then also one of my favorite parts is the peak of the week. What was your, your best part of this entire week? Um, you also have a vision board where you can put things, you know, we, we're very big on vision board at my house. Um, and you can insert pictures and goals and stuff like that. Um, I have a joyful page just because every now and then I think it's great to reflect. I wouldn't use all these pages every single day, but you use them as you want them. Um, your finances, which is just like your housing and utility, your entertainment, transportation, loans, miscellaneous, and living, and then you put all your totals here to come up with your whole income minus total. Then you have your notes page, which is just a blank page. And then you have your blank tab, which just a blank page on it. Okay, now we're going to move on to our 18 month um, months. Um, each month starts with a full layout of every week and then a note section at the bottom. And after that, you go into your weekly pages, um, Monday through Sunday. And again, you have that for every single page, I'm sorry, every single month from July 2020 all the way down through December 2021. So, we went through index. Um, let me show you templates real quick. Your templates start with blank, um, lined, graph, and dotted. And then we have our sticker section. So these stickers can be inserted anywhere. Um, I have different sayings to some blank ones where you can layer them. So like I like these little circle ones, but I knew not everybody would want that. So I do have some plain stickers that you can layer with a circle and I have some blank circles here. So you could easily take a sticker. Oops. Oh, that's why. Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> and you could Paste it where you need to be. You can crop it. And put it inside of your circle and then copy and paste the entire thing inside anywhere you want. So I have like some different holidays. Um, I also have some plain ones and all of these are plain. 
And then at the end, I have some bonus pages that you can use as section dividers, notes pages, whichever you wish. So um, all of the tabs are linked in these, but um, you can't use it as a cover page because the cover is linked to that certain one. But you can move these throughout the planner wherever you wish and just kind of use them. So now what I want to do is show you some ways to fill in these pages because I did some examples. So let me go here. So I started with my page and then I did, I think I started with the daily play. Okay, so this is my July um, page where I have like um, a Bitmoji sticker for the 4th of July. I have my sticker for Independence Day. Um, this was a blank sticker that I just wrote on with white. And then I have like doctor's appointment, hair appointment, beach trip. Um, let's go to my daily page. So I started filling that in and um, I listed, you know, the date and highlighted the day of the week, my top three priorities, three things I'm grateful for, things I had scheduled in. Um, I needed to do laundry, so I used the little laundry sticker and things I'm washing. My coffee order, because sometimes I order different things or get suggestions, so I like to use that little sticker. Um, and then I kept track of my water. So that's just a daily planner page. Um, I didn't fill out the weekly or the goal page yet, but this is the lifestyle page. So I filled out, you know, vitamins took, how much water, what I ate. What exercise did I do? Sleep and self-care. I just find it's good, like it almost holds you accountable because like you, you're going to go fill it in. So I do like that page. Um, I have my three things that I am grateful for and why. Um, didn't fill out my expenses yet. Still in my old life planner. Let's see. Oh, this is the habits page. So the habits page, I wrote my habits here. Um, just turned my iPad and wrote it and highlighted it. And then I just filled it in a different color um, as I did it. So on the, oh, sorry. So on the first, second, third, all the way through the ninth, I did meditation. Skipped the 13th, if that makes sense. So you just, it's just something fun to kind of color in and it makes like a different, you know. Um, here is a reading log. Just some books that I have that I want to read and then I highlight them once I read. So you can kind of color it in and fill it in any, any way you want. Then I have a weekly meal plan, um, which is pretty awesome because like the meatloaf, I just have the meatloaf recipe. So I don't want to take out my whole page, right? So I just screenshot it off of Pinterest. And then I came here to the insert image, clicked on the image and then found it, oops, and then found it in my images and insert it. But what's great about it is you can make it as small as you want and it'll still be able to read it when you zoom in. So that way it's not taking up your whole page. You could just screenshot it and insert it and then it's there. If you go to search later on that meatloaf recipe, it'll bring you to this page. So that way you can remember, oh, what was that meatloaf recipe? Oh, got it. Okay, so I did the weekly meal, oh, fail. Try again. I accidentally exited out. There I am. Weekly meal plan. I did that. Let's see what else. Oh, this is just a shopping list. I did the little grocery shopping sticker just to be extra. The gift tracker. What else did I fill out as an example? Oh, this is the bill payment page I was talking about. So as you check off each month, like those things that are fixed, you can just highlight it and then it kind of tracks like make sure you pay it so like last year I didn't really put the amount every month because it was sometimes different but I wanted to make sure I paid every single thing because some things couldn't be paid on my bank's website which was just a pain but I wanted to make sure I covered it all so I used this page to track to make sure I covered it this is just a revenue tracker that I just made up for an example to show you like the different sources of revenue that are coming in and you can total it and you can insert this behind every month so you would insert that behind every month by coming up here to the, I like to call it a waffle, it's got a bunch of squares. And you'll see how this one's kind of highlighted because that's the page we're on. It does take a second to load because the planner is so big. So you would simply just hit select that page and then you would copy it before you start editing it. 
So you would copy it and then another one's gonna come up right here. And then you would just click, sorry, click and drag it in whatever order you want. If you wanna move it to June, go ahead and move it to June, okay? So you can put this behind every month if you wish, same with the expense tracker. This is this one. You can track your expenses for the month. This is the recommendations page that I use. So I like to keep track when somebody tells me to watch a show or a book or listen to a podcast or a workout. So uh, my friend was telling me about the scalp massager. So I like screenshot it when she sent me so I could order it when I got home. And like even though you make it small, you can still see it very well. As well as this recipe somebody told me to try for these peanut butter cookies. And this workout that I suck at. <laughs> This is another good one that I found, but it's what's great is you can make it as small as possible and insert it, and then when you zoom in, you can still read it. So that's the recommendations page. I think that might have been everything I did, brain dump. And then here are the stickers again. And the stickers are great um, when you have like make to do list um, and you want to insert it on your daily page. Um, I have like these flight pages. Um, and all these different sayings you can create one and then these blank ones are also great I don't know why on my video it looks pixelated, but I promise you it's not oh It looks clear for a sec. Yep. There you go. I don't know why when I zoom out on my video. It looks pixel. It's just my camera So these are some others and then you also have your bonus pages so I hope that helps and um, please let me know if you have any questions and I hope you enjoy.